New tonight, the power of pink, a bright and frilly scene in East Bridgewater today to bring attention, though, to a very serious cause. The event was to bring attention to SUDC, which is the sudden unexpected death of a child similar to Sid's. SUDC is what took the life of little Sidney Craven back in 2015. And as WBC's Paul Burton explains, her family now holds a tutu run in her memory. We got ice cream. Bright pink colors, face painting and dancing. In East Bridgewater, faces are sparkling with joy and laughter thanks to a little girl named Sydney Craven. She was just amazing. Like she had a twinkle in her eye. She left a spark wherever she went. Sydney passed away three years ago from Sud C, sudden unexplained death in a child. Sid's is from newborn to 12 okay. months old, a year old, and then Sud C is a year and over. Both of those, are, there's no reasons. Heather and Shane Craven have turned their tragedy into something positive by creating the Sydney Craven Memorial Fund. On Saturday, the third annual Tutu Run and Sparkle Fest took place in East Bridgewater, beginning with the 5K run. People run, walk, dance their way in a tutu in remembering Sydney. Um, you can see there's lots of tutus and pink around the common. Everyone dressed in a tutu just like Sydney. She had pink and she had sparkles and she had a bow in every color and a tutu for every occasion. Being a father was it's amazing and uh, I just thought she was very Always happy, always smiling, singing, tapping her feet. Sydney passed away just nine days shy of her second birthday. She'd be five years old this right, year. Even on this Father's Day weekend, the family's making sure that her legacy lives on by spreading her love and her sparkle amongst all the children here. We raise money for scholarships for children in the East Bridgewater, Bridgewater, and West Bridgewater community to help children under the age of 12 enhance their inner sparkle. More than 500 people participated in the activities. All the money will go towards scholarships to help children. It's been three years. I still cry almost every day. You know, it's just one of those things. It's Father's Day, it's, it's tough. But I, I go and I see her almost every day. In East Bridgewater, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News.